everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. The contrast right now. Ryan, how do you feel about moving into your own New York City apartment tomorrow? I'm excited. You excited? Mm -hmm. I hope our landlord tells us when like, we need to be in. Yeah. Well, you guys, it is Tuesday morning, the start of another New York City vlog. Today's a fun day, big day, because we're finally getting Wi Fi. I'm so pumped. I didn't realize how much, I mean, I knew how much I relied on Wi Fi, but I didn't realize how, how much. I'll be able to control my AC if I have Wi Fi because it's some weird app. Technology is just too much sometimes. Apparently, my fridge has Wi Fi, my neighbor told me. I can upload YouTube videos. To your fridge? Yes. Crazy, I know. Why does your fridge need to watch YouTube? I don't know. And then I can watch like Netflix, obviously, and like other things on my TV. Going to some party with Brooke tonight. Brooke and I are getting pedicures at one o'clock because my mom's not one of those people that is like, Danielle, you look bad, or Danielle, you need to fix this, but she was like, Danielle, you need to fix your toes. They're not gross, they're just like, not all painted. I need to post up and edit some videos. You guys are loving the moving vlogs. I'm so happy. I want to keep getting those in. I mean, not to hype myself up or anything, but like, look at that. All right, friends, Ryan just went up to the lounge to start work because the Wi-Fi guy's not here yet, but Ryan was like, please let me know as soon as he's done so I can come use your Wi-Fi, um, I decided it's gonna be a week in my life vlog. Hey, what's up? A week in my life in New York City. We're starting a day late, it's Tuesday because I ended my last vlog yesterday. Um, but this Friday, Ryan and I are going to Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm so pumped. It's so soon, like I literally just moved here, I know. But I've had this trip planned for so long. Ryan's coming as of like, Last week, we're going down for the Clemson vs. UGA game. They don't play each other every year, so it's a pretty big deal. Um, and more so, I, I honestly don't really know many people that go to Clemson, but I wanna go because my best friend Caitlin moved to Charlotte um, in like June, I think. So I wanna like go see her and her apartment and her life, and she's made all these friends, and I'm just, I love Charlotte, like would live there one day. I'm going to stay with her, and I thought I'd go on the weekend that there's like a huge Georgia game, and she's a Georgia fan because her sister goes to Georgia, um, and we just thought it would be a fun weekend to go, and Ryan wasn't planning on going, and then his boss actually gave him and I tickets to the game, which I was so pumped because the tickets were so expensive, and I was like, yeah, Ryan, get it, let's go, thanks. So, um, I'm gonna be staying with Caitlin and Ryan staying with some of his friends, and then Ryan and I will go to the game together on Saturday, but Delaney's texting me now, she might be going, like, it's gonna be so much fun, I'm totally gonna be one of those alumna. I go to games because I freaking love Georgia. I'm like over here thinking about what I'm gonna wear to game day. <laughs> I hate myself, I know. Um, and also the UGA bar in New York City just opened back up because it's been closed for a really long time. So I was texting with Daly, one of my hallmates from UGA. She lives here. Well, she lives in New Jersey, but I think she's moving to New York next year. So we're like, oh my gosh, should we like get a table for the game? Like, I'm just so excited. And that is what's happening this weekend. Like I said, tonight, Brooke and I have a party. Tomorrow, Ryan moves into his apartment, so I'm gonna be helping him. And then Thursday, I have a photo shoot with Isabel Evans. I love her photography. She wants to do like a Soho shoot. I don't really, I haven't done like a lot of shoots in a while, so it's been fun having photographers reach out and I'm here for a good time. I'm just stalling because I really just can't wait for Thomas the Wi-Fi man to be here. I'm getting Verizon Fios if anyone's curious. My closet is just an array of things I've thrown in here. Um, and actually tomorrow, oh yeah, tomorrow night, twice as organized, they are coming over to kind of assess <laughs> my closet and then we'll schedule a time for them to come back and they're gonna help me organize because you guys know I've never been great with the clothing organization. It's just never been, like I'm good at keeping my apartment pretty clean, I think, but organization of closet and clothes has always been tough for me. Right now, I'm just kind of trying to clean it up. I don't really know, I guess my shoes, 
we're gonna be in this middle thing but also i have a lot of shirts that i want to be i have no idea i'm gonna take their advice right now i'm just hanging random things up and then in here i'm embarrassed to show you guys i haven't really gotten to it organ oh i see ryan's <laughs> ryan's found his way in here um, I'm gonna be hanging up all my coats and stuff. Got these shower basket things that I forgot to hang up because Ryan got here and I got distracted. Um, but I do have a lot of good space in here too, so I want to show them this as well. Um, but yeah, so right now, and then I also have my dresser, which if you guys saw my last vlog, Ryan literally has been staying with me for I don't know two or three nights, and he had like his decor packed for his apartment. And he's just unloading it here. So I've got family photos over there. I've got, while well, I'm making my coffee, a picture of him and his sister, who I love so much. I also need to get throw pillows and stuff. I found out that my bed frame and a chair for my living room are coming next week. So I'm really excited. A lot of people said they like how my um, bed is low to the ground. And I actually agree. I think it's like a fun little cozy vibe. And it really, and then I was like, oh, I'm getting a bed frame. But... It's not going to be that much taller because my bed frame's a really short, low, like, platform one. Um, so I don't think it'll be that much higher anyway, so it'll kind of keep the same vibes. I've said this before, but these baskets will be going here. I just like symmetry. <laughs> I need to figure out another photo that Ryan put. It's so sweet, his mom, like, gave him photos to put around his apartment. I've got, like, random jewelry here, but that's, this is not the goal. And then this, I'm still waiting on another plant for right there. I also just got my storage unit. So I need to go downstairs and bring down the suitcases. That's another motivation to unpack because now that I have a storage unit, I can bring my empty suitcases down there, get rid of some clutter. Oh yeah, I guess I just gave you guys the update again, waiting on my couch, who knows? This is my gray melon photo. I cannot wait to hang that up. Don't want to hang it up till I get the couch so we can help with centering. I think that's the update. Just hung up these shower shelves. It was so easy. Um, I could have put them a little bit closer together but i wasn't sure if like i put bottles here i didn't want it to hit the top um but they were super easy to use and they gave me an extra adhesive you literally just stick it on and then put the basket in the little hooks got it on my amazon so inexpensive i'll link them down below for you guys but yeah i need to get um some more shampoo because i don't use the old flex like, shampoo every time and then i also have um, purple shampoo, but I like to switch it up so I'll be able to put more products here, which will be nice And I can hang my little Billy razor. So that was great. And then I'll just go like this and then you can't really See anything so it's nice except for all of Ryan's deodorant literally. Why do men have so many deodorants? This like literally doesn't make any sense. They're here right now you guys They're putting the modem in there. I couldn't be more excited <laughs> You guys I have a wife the guy was so nice too. He like loves Broadway and was giving me all the tips and tricks for when the shows come back and how to get cheap tickets and stuff. So that's exciting. Connected on my computer, Ryan's coming down. He's so excited that there's Wi-Fi in here. He was able to just put the modem in my coat closet, which was perfect. I have so many things I can do now. I am going, I can connect my Wi-Fi to my TV. I also can change the name and password. And I'm like, hmm, what should I call it? But I'm so excited, I can now upload YouTube videos, I can literally do everything, I don't have to, my hotspot was literally done for the month, so. Wi-Fi set up, he's here now. I'm just watching him work, <laughs> eating pot stickers. <laughs> Guys, this is insane, oh my gosh, it swivels. This is, I'm finally unboxing my Amazon Echo Show. I think I'm gonna put it in my kitchen, this is so sick. All set up. All right, we got the Wi-Fi all set up, Alexa set up, TV set up. So hype about that. About to head over to the nail salon to meet with Brooke. We're always getting our toes done. This is the Amazon set that I love so much. Bag is from the Luxie Club. Um, check them out, they're awesome. They're always doing new drops and I think I'm just gonna bring water. So, and Ryan's working. Look at him go. Just realized this is my first time outside all day. It's nice. Brooke got gel nail polish for the first time today. Yes, I was influenced. She was influenced. You're gonna love it. You guys, I'm really into cucumbers as a snack now. It's like if you're in the mood to munch on something, but you don't want chips, cucumber. And you can dip it in hummus too. Cooking some yellow rice tonight. We're doing 
rice, black beans, chicken, avocado, tomato. Got some tomato cut, chicken is cooked. This pan is just forever amazing, you guys need it. The R Place always pan. It's, I'm in love with it. I was just informed that there was a pot of it. So I need the pot now. Ryan's laughing. Rice is just about done. About to heat up the black beans. We got corn as well. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. Ryan's about to hop on a call, so I, I told him I'm gonna go ahead and eat because I'm a hungry girl. Dinner is served. So, Brooke and I are going to an event tonight for the girls that do the TikTok VIP list, NYC. And um, they're collaborating with a vodka company. Also, look, I kind of unpacked this morning. Pretty proud of myself. And it's an all white party. Thinking of wearing this. It's that Princess Polly set that I have in black and purple. This one is white. I thought it was perfect. So I think I'm gonna wear that. Just ate dinner, have my hair in a dry bar roller. I just like doing it because then when I take them out, my hair is super voluminous in the front. And yes, I know, my shirt. <laughs> and now we're gonna start the getting ready process. I have to fully dry my hair. I think I'm just gonna leave it straight tonight and makeup and then I'm like, do I do a white bag or is that too much? All right, I'm ready. Yee. <laughs> you look good. Thanks. Poor guy's still checking away. Yep. Such a, such a worker. Um, I'll show you guys my outfit really quick. This is the set. I will link it down below. You guys have seen it before. I literally have it in purple and black as well. And I was so excited to wear it because I don't think I'm gonna have many other opportunities. And then I just decided to go ham and have a white bag as well. This is from By Far. Um, same jewelry. Oh, and then I'm wearing my um, Dolce Vita heels, the nude ones. I love them. I'll link them down below. They're so comfortable. I could walk, I could probably walk a mile in this little baton. <laughs> I don't know. But they're really, really comfortable. And I'm gonna go meet up with Brooke. I'm gonna get in the Uber. And I don't really know what to expect, but I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Hey, Brooke. Hey. <laughs> here we are. Cheers. This is so cute. We just took shots. RIP. Oh, yeah. It's pretty. I like this bathroom. I just took a shot of vodka. That wasn't like how I saw yeah. my name going. Yeah, that was like, uh, almost like you're gonna have to hype yourself up to drink. All right, this vodka goes down so smooth, so we're just gonna do it. So smooth. Cheers. I'm gonna do it. Like, it's so new. It's so new that I can't even like change the like the It's just like didn't even blend. <laughs> From my bed. It's like 7 a.m. So I'm gonna stay in bed for a little bit. Ryan is up and at him. It's moving day. <sighs> Got back last night and Ryan and I went up to the roof and hung out and reminisced on just the fact that we live here, as I always do. I really feel like I should have slept more, but he woke up for work, so I was up. There were so many TikTokers at this party and I felt like a grandma because I wouldn't call myself a TikToker. Like I have a TikTok, but I would consider myself more on the YouTube podcast side. And it was so interesting. Everyone was so nice. And I met so many people that like I've seen on TikTok cause I'm kind of like on New York TikTok now. Um, so I met some good friends, but it was a wild dude that's for sure. The owner of the vodka company is throwing vodka down my throat. So that was, interesting but it honestly that vodka went down so smooth like i haven't taken a vodka shot in so long and it was just boom and i'm not hungover so and i had three shots oh my god anyways i'm gonna work from bed for the next hour or so and i'm gonna take a shower and get ready mary steven's never seen my apartment before so she's coming over and then we we're gonna go for a walk but it's raining so we'll see Guys, I just pressed upload on YouTube and it is has uploaded in under two minutes. This is actually the fastest Wi-Fi I've ever had in my entire life and it could not be better. All right, video is uploaded. It, as you guys saw, uploaded in literally 60 seconds. I'm just unwell, this is amazing. Here we go, shot of Ah, that feels great. Currently. 
best situation right now. I can't wait to get my date. So I haven't really vlogged much because Ryan's been in here working and like on calls. He literally would sit right there and I'd have to like, because it's a video call, like squeeze around. I'm lighting this Apotheek Vetiver candle I unboxed in one of my last vlogs. This lighter's so fun too, it's like a torch. Just finally brought the TV box down to my storage room um, to kind of alleviate some Space here. This I still need to unpack. It's all my sweaters and sweat sets, so nothing I've needed to wear um, and put it in here. But some of Ryan's stuff is in here. But I had a really nice morning with Mary Steven. She came inside my apartment. We went and got breakfast, caught up. She just got an awesome job, so we were like chatting about that. I came back, and next week is New York Fashion Week, which is so exciting, and I'm really, really thankful. I'm getting emails about New York Fashion Week events next week, so I'm having to like plan my outfits for that and coordinate with my manager and all that kind of stuff, which is so exciting. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited this is finally coming to fruition. So I've just been doing emails all day, and I posted, but Wednesdays are always busy because I posted a video today, and we posted a new episode of Gas and the Go podcast, so it's lots of promo, just lots of computer stuff, nothing to really update on the vlog. Oh my gosh, you guys, so I'm in the best mood. I didn't vlog because they came, they left, and we were just like talking the whole time, but um, I just had Michaela and Zoe from Twice as Organized to my apartment. I decided I need help with organizing, you guys know. I'm pretty organized, I'm pretty clean gal, but when it comes to my closet, I have just never, been good at keeping it organized and they have a whole system they do and so basically they just came for the consultation I'm gonna vlog when they come for sure um, but they just came today to take all the measurements and kind of get an idea for like what clothing I have what they're working with and they were seriously so cool they're twins and they're so sweet and I'm just honestly obsessed with them so showing them I have this dresser and they were suggesting we do like drawer dividers that are wooden they're so pretty so I can maximize this space and I was telling them, I was thinking of making those like pajamas and stuff. And they were like, no, make those your hampers, like light and darks. Put it under there, easy access. They're pretty big size because then, cause I have a hamper in here right now. And like, if I want to hang stuff up there, it would get in the way. So I thought that was genius of them. This is why I hired them. I'm so excited. And then they said I should do two um, shoe shelves right here on either side. So that'll be good. We're going to do some shoe risers and bag risers for some like display. They said I should hang my jeans. So basically they're going to send me a link tomorrow with all the things I need to order from Amazon. That it's like stuff they've used before on their other clients so that when they come next Wednesday, I'm so excited. They're coming next Wednesday and I just have to have all my clothes out and the stuff that they suggested and then they're just gonna get to work and organize and I'm probably gonna like cry when I come back and see it all organized. So I'm really excited. They were super sweet. Like I said, I can't, like I'm just, I was, they're probably like, this girl is way too excited about organization. So here we're gonna do the hampers and then this is my um, underwear and stuff. This, we're gonna do like a split. So we're gonna do like a sunglasses organizer and then my jewelry here, which I think will be great. So I just don't have it all out. Um, and yeah, I think, oh, and then I also have my coat closet out here and um, they're thinking I could put like my boots out here, like hats, more winter stuff and we'll organize it and get like bins and all kinds of stuff. So I don't want to spoil everything for next week when they come, but if you're in the New York City area, definitely check them out. So now I'm trying to decide what to do. Here's another little update for you guys. Oh my gosh, that's weird. You guys can see me. As you guys know, today's Ryan's moving day. Well, unfortunately, I, I feel so terrible. Um, him and then Luke and Christian, his other two roommates, um, were supposed to move in today. And Luke's parents literally flew up to help them move in. And Luke, because like all the guys work. So Luke's dad came to go get the keys. And he was so excited, he walks in, and there's like paint on the floor, there's paint on the walls. I guess the last tenants like half painted the apartment before they left, and there's literally paint on the floor. And so it's just not, and like two of the rooms have AC, but one of them doesn't, which I thought was really weird. Now the landlord's trying to fix it, but it can't be fixed till Monday, because it's about to be the weekend and whatever. So they can't move in today because they can't move in and then they get the place painted, you know? So that just really sucks for them. It's not a huge deal because Ryan and I are going to Charlotte this weekend and like obviously Ryan has a place to stay 
his stuff is everywhere and it's starting to stress me out, but it's fine. Like I feel so bad and I'm glad that I'm here. But Luke's been staying in an Airbnb. His Airbnb ends this week. Christian's flying up Thursday, but now he probably is gonna wait till next week. And Luke's parents are here. Like I just feel so bad. It just sucks. And like that's just, uh, I hope they like get some of their money back or something. But thankfully it's not the end of the world. But so yeah, I thought I would be helping Ryan move today. But that's just not the case. He like is so sad. He like wanted to at least just go look at the apartment. Um, so maybe he still can do that. I don't know if he has a key specifically yet. Maybe just Luke. But yeah, that's that update. Ryan's upstairs in the lounge right now. He left while the girls were here because he's literally always in video meetings. But I think we, I didn't realize Ryan was going to be here tonight. So I didn't, we didn't like go grocery shopping. We planned all of our meals together and I was just assuming that I would just eat on my own. Like I have stuff I could eat on my own, but he eats a lot more than me. So now it's raining. We don't really want to walk to Trader Joe's. So we'll probably just go get something to eat. I'm learning in New York though. It's definitely like a social thing to go eat here. Not that we want to do that every day, but yeah, I'll probably do that. But yeah, that's kind of the rundown. I just, there was a lot, like I pretty much was just on my computer all day and then I had a moment, but then they got here. So I was like, okay. On another note, I have to give a huge shout out to Cashews as a whole as a food group. They are so delicious and so perfect for like in between meals. Like I'm hungry for dinner, but I know Ryan's not done working yet. All right guys, it's a little later. The rain hasn't gone away and we've been waiting for the rain to go away so we could walk to dinner. But now we're gonna go downstairs and assess if it's okay to walk in with umbrellas because it's just like boring, boring. Ryan is watching football. Drinking a beer. Ugh. We are trekking it in the rain. Ryan found this cute little Thai restaurant. So I got the pad CU. Ryan got drunk noodles. Drunk noodles. He's excited. Hey <laughs> everybody, we're listening to some easy acoustic. Gonna make a cup of coffee. It's a lovely Thursday, which means it's almost the weekend. If anyone has the Keurig K Mini Plus, please let me know how to work it. So I closed it, I pressed it once. I understand that the water's gonna now heat up. And then it like stops, and then I have to press it again, and it like works after a while. Is there some formula that I need to know? Please let me know down below. Other than that, I love it. I love how it's slim, it makes one cup, the coffee's good. I just haven't figured out like the process. Pretty much use the dishwasher every day because it's pretty tiny. And I guess because Ryan's here too, we like have more plates. Alas, we have coffee. <laughs> well, we've approached an issue here. I always put my half and half on the bottom and I guess I didn't calculate for the water. So here goes nothing. <laughs> well, this didn't end as planned. Um, yeah, once I get my couch, which is white, my coffee will not be anywhere near that. All right, good morning, you guys. I have to be a little quiet because Ryan's out there working. It's a beautiful day and I want to go for a walk. But I got some clothes in for Fashion Week um, from Revolve that I want to like try on and put some outfits together. I also am trying to figure out my game day outfit for the um, Clemson vs. Georgia game that I'm going to this weekend in Charlotte. Um, because game day outfits never stop. So I'm in my room right now. I have the clothes that I just got from Revolve right there. They're like super out there outfits for me. And I'm really excited to try them on. All right guys, so here's one of the looks. I love it. Um, all of these looks were picked out by my friend Elizabeth over at Stylist Check. I am truly obsessed with this look. Kim Possible vibe. I will link this top and bottom down below. I love this tank. I can wear it a lot with like jeans too. And then these pants are so sick. I guess I can like scrunch them at the bottom and tie, but I just love the cargo and you can like tighten them even more with these things. We love that. They're supposed to be low rise, but I just, I like high rise, I think. I'll link this set down below. It's all from Revolve. It's all from the same brand. Like it, it's all meant to go together, but like with the Jordans. Ryan, what do you think? That's a fit. It's a fit? <laughs> my funky fit trying to decide which bag because obviously the green is such a vibe the greens don't match 100 percent perfectly but elizabeth was saying maybe we should do the white i don't know i'm waiting on her to text me back but i feel like both could kind of go guys this dress a vibe it's so comfortable so flattering 
Yeah, this is definitely going to be worn somewhere. Ooh, I like that one. You like this one better than the denim. <laughs> I like it too. Guys, my dad just sent me a video of Finley. Oh my gosh. He said say hi to Danielle. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I can't, I can't. Ooh. So not much to report on. Um, was planning outfits all morning and doing some emails and started editing my next vlog. And now I'm about to go run some errands. I just did laundry, or it's happening right now. And we're gonna take a little ginger shot. Um. Okay, you guys, it's a little bit later. I just ran and got some more groceries. Well, I really just got eggs and toilet paper and green tea, really random. So my hair looks a lot better now. Um, I'm headed over to Soho to shoot with Isabel Evans. We're doing really simple. So top is beginning boutique, jeans are Princess Polly, wearing my Jordan. And then she wants to do blazer vibes. So we're gonna pull it all in with the green with this. Oh, this is so sick. We're gonna go Soho shoe, and then tonight's Brian and I's two and a half year anniversary. Um, so he planned a dinner, and he's taking me to dinner somewhere. Hey guys, so I'm here with Isabel and Olivia. Hi. We're shooting right now in Soho, it's so cool. Some yes. guy just like came up to us to film for a street style dog. Yes. So we We're got Polaroids. Kind of I know, yeah, I'm excited to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got the matching green. So yeah, yeah. just thought I'd say hi. Yeah. Decided to go shopping because the shoot ended early, so it was so much fun. Got a green juice on a little side of the street, this vendor. It has apple, ginger, kale, spinach, cucumber, celery. I watched him make it. This is incredible. Literally on the go juice. All right, everybody, I'm back. It was such a lovely afternoon with Isabel. Her photography is actually amazing. This guy that does street style photography, documentaries, I don't even know, came up to us and had us in this documentary, so. That was pretty cool. I felt cool. He liked our green outfit, so. And then I like walked around Soho a little bit, kind of aimlessly, and walked back. And it's such a beautiful day. My heart goes out to absolutely everybody that was affected by the floods yesterday. I had so many people text me today, which was so sweet, and a lot of you guys messaged me. I We didn't experience any of that over here, um, and I'm really thankful for that, but my heart does go out to everybody, and I know there were deaths, which is so heartbreaking, so. Um, but all is well today in New York. We're going to Charlotte tomorrow and I keep forgetting <laughs> and uh, Ryan and I have dinner reservations in about an hour, but I already have my hair and makeup done I'm just gonna switch into like a different outfit. I don't really know what to bring. I don't even know what we're really doing I mean Saturday will be like game day vibes, but like tomorrow I think her and I are going to dinner I don't even know. So here's a couple of things I've pulled already, but I just I don't know um, For the actual game, I was thinking maybe I'd wear this dress it's really cute, it's cutouts on the side, but it's like fun and it's just comfortable. And then I also have this shirt that I still haven't worn yet. Um, where did I get this? Oh, from Cheeky Peach in Athens. And it's just this like white puffy sleeve top. And what else, what else, what else? I'll definitely just bring some like leggings and you know, comfy stuff. I, guess, I don't really know what people wear going out in Charlotte. I assume it's just the same like jeans and shirt. Okay, so I'm gonna bring these jeans from a Goldie. They're just like simple straight leg blue jeans and like a crop top or two, a couple tanks. Gonna bring, well, I might have to try that outfit on, but these jean shorts could be cute with this top and my white cowgirl boots. I'm glad I brought them. Hey, how are you? Right there. Oh my God. Well, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I have really bad news. Stop, don't even say that to me. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I couldn't even hold myself together. I'm coming to my door. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was just like wait, that. Wait, wait, do you? I'm confused. I have no bad news for you, only good Yay! news. <laughs> just calling to ask what to bring. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, the weather's like weirdly so nice right now. It's date night. <laughs> so, Ryan's planned us a lovely dinner for our two and a half year anniversary. <laughs> Because why not? Yeah. I still don't... <laughs> Here, you have to get back. 
Gotta stand back. Show them your nice outfit. I guess that's what you wore today, but it looks good for the day. It's work. Headed. I have no idea where we're going, but it's walking distance. It's Italian. It's Italian? Yeah. Wait, do you want to tell me what it's called now? Um, super. 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 It's called Super? Well, not Super, but like two peas or something. Like so super? Yeah. We're going to Supper. Yeah. That's like a really, I've never been. Brooke just went. She says amazing. Yeah, it's her room. Did she tell you? Did you ask her? No, 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 no. I had to get reviews. Oh my god, we're going to Supper. I'm a good thing. <laughs> so I'm wearing this dress from Revolve. I love it. And then sneakers. And then I think when we get back, Mary Sue and Morgan and some of their new friends in the city are going to meet us. Here and we're gonna like go to my roof and like go out for a little bit because we do have a flight tomorrow. But we're gonna go out for a little. Yep. So I'm so excited. Big beer gal these days. Cheers, Ryan. Cheers. This place is oh this is like that emoji with the two <laughs> beer. Yum, I got the pomodoro, Ryan got chicken. Yay. Just got back and I got a package. Got this vase in from CB2. Finally got to put in my little I don't know, cattails, is that what you call them? They look so good. I'm gonna need Sierra's help with like styling this exactly, but this was the plan. She probably wants me to put the vase in the middle now that I think about it. Let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah, that looks good. Howdy. Howdy. Ryan's ready for the Lower East Side bars. <laughs> So we got fireball and creatine. Yeah, creatine. <laughs> nice. We're gonna take it daily. And a baby carrot. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Friday morning egg flips go hard, baby. We are out here. Okay, tell me when to start recording. You started. Three, two, one. Recording. Friday morning egg flips, baby. <laughs> Ooh, hold on, hold on, all right. Sheesh. Ryan does this thing every morning where he makes coffee and then it's just spitting over here for a long you time. Think? Yeah, I've noticed this about you. You just like make it. Oh, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I'll drink it. I mean, it's just so fun. I mean, you eventually do drink it. It's just funny. His egg flip was successful up there. Going to Charlotte today. So I need to pack because I have not packed. I just hopped in the shower. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life vlog. I'm just gonna pack, edit a video, upload it so it goes up while I'm gone, and I will see you guys next week. I hope you all have an amazing day. Subscribe if you guys are new here. Subscribe, click that button down below to be notified every time I post a new video. And yeah, it's a beautiful day. Make it a great day. I'm gonna go drink some coffee now. See you guys next time. Bye!